Hello everyone. I should really start talking once I'm settled sitting, but um, I am coming to you with the, um, what am I doing today? <laughs> It's right in my lap. Um, this is the May Julep Maven box. I apologize that I got it to you, do this, got it to you in this video so late. Um, it's already June, I can't believe it. But um, May just kind of flew by. And um, I don't know, there's lots of times when I was sort of preparing to do this video and it just sort of didn't um, work out. Uh, children could come in now. Who knows we'll see it's a uh, 50 50 every time but I'm gonna try and get through this so here's my box um, I have used these products quite a bit um, I opted for a box that did not have nail polish this month um, well last month for May um, I also did for June just because I don't do my nails a lot and so I don't feel the need to necessarily get polish every single month in my box. They have other products that I am interested in trying out, um, including this one, which is why I was so excited um, for it. And um, we'll get into the good and the bad because I have been using it during the month. Um, so first is the Brilliance Glycolic Hand Scrub. I don't know if that's in focus or not. The bottle looks like this. There you go, hand scrub. Um, this says 90% of users noticed softer, younger looking skin after just one treatment. Gentle enough for everyday use. This dual action exfoliation scrub instantly reveals brighter, smoother skin. It's like a facial for your hands. Um, this, oh, one quick tip, uh, not tip, um, alert in case anyone is uh, has issues with this. It is um, an alpha, hydro alpha hydroxy acid um, product. So it can increase your skin's sensitivity to sunburn. So it's important to uh, wear sun protection on your hands after you use it. Also, if you have a sensitivity to AHAs, you may wanna stay away from it. So um, the bottle has this little, one of these little things where you you turn it like that and it squeezes out. It sort of reminds me the consistency of like the St. Ives, um, oh, is my battery gonna die? Okay, hopefully I can get through this quickly. It sort of reminds me of the St. Ives um, apricot scrub. And I think it says that it has apricot, yeah, it has apricot seeds in it. Um, but it's sort of like a gel cream consistency um, I do really like it. Uh, the skin on my hands, I feel like um, I have like old skin on my hands. Not like dead skin, but like kind of almost like older looking skin than for my age. That makes sense. I feel like um, a lot of like women in Hollywood that you know they get plexus of surgery and Botox, but you could always tell the age by the way their hands are. You just can't not much you can do about it. So um, if you're someone who feels the need to have younger looking hands or just a good scrub for your hands, this is a good product. The one biggest downside to this product for me is the fragrance. And I use the word fragrance and not scent because to me those are very different things. This has a something popped up on my phone. This has a very strong fragrance. It's a very strong artificial fragrance. What it reminds me of is um, the Victoria's Secret signature fragrances. Not like their body splash sprays, but like their actual fragrances are like a very heavy scent. And that's what this reminds me of. And I have found that the only way that I can use it and have it not bother me is if I wash my hands right afterwards and that sort of cuts down on along the fragrance sort of um, continues to linger. Um, otherwise, it's really hard for me to have it on my hands and to use it because um, I'm sensitive to really heavy artificial uh, fragrances and so it can actually give me a headache. Um, the other product, and because of that, it's not something that I will probably repurchase from them unless they come with up with an unscented version, which would be amazing. Jula, come with up with unscented and it'll be great. Um, next is the Rockstar Hand Cream. It's a hit. That's 
extra box. Same package design except for this is pink and purple instead of white, but the same way. This is an anti-aging emollient blend of shea butter, glycerin, vitamin E, oh, coconut oil and vitamin E. Keeps hands hydrated even after washing. Excuse me. And I agree. Um, this, after about three wash hand washings, is when I felt like um, I needed to maybe reapply some lotion. Um, this really does last. It does a really good job of moisturizing the skin, getting in there and staying on there even if you're washing your hands. This product is not quite as heavily fragranced as the uh, scrub. However, um, it, it does have a similar fragrance but just not quite as strong. So it doesn't bother me. If I use these two back to back without washing my hands after using the scrub, it's the fragrance is too strong and I the, after the first time I used it, um, I did end up getting a headache from the fragrance. Not a full on migraine, but I did get like a pretty nasty headache from it. Um, but I found that if I just reapply this later on, um, during the day if I feel like I need it. Um, it doesn't really bother me. It's it's not quite as strong, but the two of them together is, is pretty strong if I don't wash my hands after this. So if you're someone that has um, issues with fragrance, I would probably not recommend this to you. Um, if you're someone who really likes, whoops, drop and throw and stuff around. Um, if you're someone who doesn't mind the fragrances, if you're someone who actually likes the Victoria's Secret signature fragrances, you probably would really like these products. So I encourage you to check them out. And I encourage you in general to check out um, Julep and become a maven because it's really fun to get a little um, treat in the mail every month. It's $20. You get $40 worth of product. You either get um, two full-size um, beauty products or you get two full-size polishes and one full-size beauty product but everything is full-size so it's really it's a pretty good deal um, and as you become a member or a maven and you um, get your boxes you can always have the option to skip a month if it's not really in your budget for that month or you can just cancel but the first box is always free so I will put a link down below and if you guys are interested you can use my link and you can get your first box free and you can help me out earn some more points for free stuff it's win win um, anyways and you can get your own link once you sign up and refer your friends and they can get a free box and then you can earn free stuff um, so all in all, I do like these products. Um, they, for what they do, they work really, really well. And I do love them a lot. I really do for what they do. They are amazing. I just wish that Julep would come out with an unscented version. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that would really be perfect. Um, just make it unscented. If anybody from Julep sees this or can get this referred, I, I may shoot them an email, I don't know, and ask them if they can come up with an unscented version, because um, in all reality, after I use this up, I won't repurchase it just because of the fragrance issues that I have with it. Um, I may repurchase this, I don't know. Um, like I said, it's not as heavily scented, but I don't, I'm not a humongous fan of the fragrance. Um, it's not something where I'm like, oh, I totally love this. I do love that this keeps me moisturized, my hands moisturized. Um, through a couple of hand washings, which is great um, because I don't have to, I don't, my hands don't feel crackly, and gross after I wash my hands. Um, so that's really cool about that product. But that's it. Um, Juna's box is probably on its way by now. I'm really excited because there's two more beauty products coming from that one that um, I have been so excited to try and I thought I was going to buy them and I'm glad I didn't buy them yet because now I get them in a box. Woohoo! Um, the subscriber giveaway is still going to happen soon, not as soon as I was hoping because um, I recently uh, found something that I am like super in love with and it's a little bit of uh, money for me to spend, but I want to get one for the uh, one of the giveaway prizes. So I'm sort of collecting that and I'm going to need a little bit more time. So maybe like mid mid June, mid late June, um, I will have the subscriber giveaway up. I'm trying to get a couple more things in um, for that. So as soon as I have everything together, um, I will get that 
video up, but I will also have other videos up for you. Um, this is the last week of school for my son. My daughter graduated preschool uh, last week. Uh, this is the last week of school, so I'm hoping to get myself on a schedule finally for uploading maybe about three videos a month at least. That's sort of what I'm hoping for, like once a week. Uh, three to four videos a month. That's what I'm sort of hoping for. Get myself going during the summer and then once school starts and they're both in school, I'll be able to keep that momentum going. Um, so life will be much easier once they're both in school. My daughter's going to be in kindergarten. I can't believe it. Um, but anyways, enough about my silly life. <laughs> um, I hope you all are doing well and I will see you next time.